So your name and your title. Okay. My name is Joe Sertich. I'm the curator of dinosaurs at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. And how do you spell your last name? S-E-R-T-I-C-H. Oh, generally. <laughs> generally we are on a uh, construction site in the city of Thornton. And what happened here? So Friday, as the crews were scraping down, um, doing some of the work, they hit what looks like bones. And I got a call Sunday night, yesterday, to come out and check it out. And as soon as I got on site, I realized it was a pretty important dinosaur find, which are pretty unusual in the Denver area. And after cleaning up the site, it looks like part of the skull of a triceratops, a horned dinosaur, and maybe parts of the skeleton. So you say it's an unusual find. Tell me about that. Yeah, dinosaurs from the Denver area have been known for about 150 years, but most of Denver is covered by parking lots or houses, um, shopping malls. And so it's pretty unusual to get down to the original rock layers that Denver sits on. And so whenever a construction site like this gets to the right level, so up here in Thornton, it get, got right down to the rocks that predate the extinction of dinosaurs. And so right before the dinosaurs go extinct, you have things like T-Rex and Triceratops um, walking around the landscape. And so this construction site just hit the right spot at the right time. Do you feel pretty lucky? That, I mean, is this something that usually people just like keep going with their work and don't think about it? Do you feel lucky that this was found the way it is? Yeah, what's really unusual is getting some of these sites reported. So a lot of times these will be plowed up and they won't be recognized. Um, and we're really lucky in this case that it was recognized as fossils. And we got the call and we're out here and we're able to salvage the, the site and actually collect these fossils. This is probably one of only three skulls of Triceratops found along the Front Range area. Tell me about the site. So Triceratops is that iconic, really uh, popular dinosaur. Most kids know it. It's the one with two horns, big horns over its eyes, a little nose, nose horn, and then a beak on the front, and then a big frill or a shield on the back of the head. So it's one of the iconic ones that you usually see fighting T-Rex in dinosaur art or in movies. Okay. Um, and so what happens now? So the next steps, we've got the site kind of figured out, we know that there's a lot of bone, there's bone from the skull, there's also bones from the rest of the skeleton, which means it could be a pretty large area, could encompass most of a skeleton. And so the next steps will be to come out, expose more, but also stabilize and collect what has already been uncovered and, and uh, get that safely out of the ground. So he's had a home here for a long time, but he'll have a new home eventually. Yeah, this dinosaur has been laying here for at least 66 million years. Um, and we're going to get it out of the ground and get it cleaned up and hopefully rehoused at the Denver Museum and nice shiny new cabinets. So talk me through the moments where, like what were you thinking, feeling when you got the call that maybe dinosaur bones? So we get a lot of calls about fossils in the Denver area. Just last year we got a tusk from Cherry Creek, so those do come out of the ground regularly. And that usually happens to be Pleistocene, Ice Age to Ice Age fossils like uh, mammoths, uh, camels, things like that. And so when I first got a call about bones, that's why I assumed it was. It was another Ice Age site, um, mainly because this area was covered with Ice Age animals just 10 or 12,000 years ago. The fact that we're deep enough, we've hit the old rock in this area, means that it's dinosaurs, which is really unusual, really exciting. So I'm, I'm over the moon right now that this is a dinosaur fossil. And when you came out here and realized what it was, what, like, what were you feeling? Oh, my heart was racing. As soon as I uncovered it and realized that this was the horn from a triceratops and not just another leg bone or part of a hip, um, it made this site really exciting. What else? What did I, didn't I ask you? I think you covered most of it. Okay. I guess we'll talk about it. Okay. Give you a meeting. Thanks okay. so yeah. much.